Right, well this one's back on all four matching wheels and four matching tyres. Just waiting on the clips to arrive to be able to put the uh, arch trim back on. And then we can get it inside and change the gearbox or the diff carrier or the wheel bearing or whatever it is that's making the noise. Um, so that's this one for now anyway. I've got the engine and gearbox out of the spares car. Now I didn't film it because I wanted to do one, make notes, concentrate, so I know in the future what I've got to do. To be honest, it was very easy. Um, I have got to take the engine out of another one to change the gearbox because the uh, the red number seven, uh, that one, um, I think the gearbox is whining. Uh, I don't know, it might even be the drive shaft carrier or even a wheel bearer. I don't think it's a wheel bearing, but it might be the drive shaft carrier yet. But again, I think it's going to be the diff. So I will document taking that one out. But um, yeah, it was quite simple. Um, very well thought out, nice and easy. Um, yeah. So now we're going to get this one over in the space over there next to Metro, bring the other white one in with the front end damage and... Um, start swapping everything over so i'll show continue right so we're at mot with the cooper new front end on um still needs a little bit of adjustment but it's not too bad um, just be nice to get an MOT on it now to uh, see what it needs if anything else and then we can adjust everything there and then so I'll let you know how we get on uh, an update on the project the green Range Rover uh, that's sold on eBay. That's gone to Birmingham. The white Mini Cooper we changed the front end on, that sold the day I got it MOT'd, the day it come out of the garage basically. I wheeled it out of here, um, straight to the MOT, and I knew a guy who was potentially interested, so I advertised it, and uh, yeah, went straight away. So that's that gone. Um, sold a bit cheaper as a trade sale because it needed there was a couple of advisories, nothing too serious, but he wanted a bit of a project, so it's perfect for him. Um, what else has gone? Obviously, the smart car's gone, you've seen that. That's up again, sold on eBay. Um, and the green mini's gone as well. A local couple picked it up off Facebook Marketplace, so that's gone. So we're now waiting on a clutch actuator for the 58 plate smart. Um, it wasn't selected gear, it was stuck in neutral. Um, and when I looked underneath it, the actual clutch actuator wasn't plugged in. When I plugged it in, the car wouldn't start. So I'm hoping it is a fault with that and not something else. But um, that's on order. A brand new Sax one from Germany. So hopefully that will go on and that will work. And then that's almost ready to go. Uh, the Mini 7, um, we've got to check over what the rotating noise is. It's either going to be wheel bearing, um, drive shaft carrier, gearbox, clutch. I'm going towards the gearbox route because it's kind of a diff whiny noise. When you dip the clutch, it changes slightly. Um, so I can't see it being a wheel bearing or the, or the uh, shaft carrier because that wouldn't change when you dip the clutch. So I think that's all what come out. You saw us strip the other one the other day anyway as a donut, so we've got bits there. Um, the blue mini, you've probably seen in some videos. Um, I've got to get around to that, it needs a door. Um, to try and find one in colour and make it cheaper, just bolt it on and then that can go as it is, there's nothing wrong with that, it drives lovely. Uh, just a bit noise on the exhaust, I've taken the, the exhaust off the donor white car, 
might have to change over or someone's cut a box out or it's just a bit noisy for whatever reason so we'll, we'll need to get up on the ramp and have a look so I've not even looked under it yet. That's that. Um, other than that, there's not a great deal else to report. Uh, so obviously I'm doing a, um, the Metro updates on separate videos. Um, obviously my Cooper S I want to bring in and start sorting that out ready for the track once I've got a few other jobs out of the way. Because uh, this Discovery 2 was supposed to be done January, February. Uh, but due to being held up in various places, it's obviously now April. So I need to get on with that. So we're going to concentrate on these, get these a bit further along, and then we can move on to other projects. So, so that's just a quick update. Just uh, thought I'd fill you in a few bits and pieces. So yeah, on to the next job. Right, got the uh, 58 plate smart in. Uh, got it up on axle stands, and we've got the new clutch actuator from Germany, from Saks. So we'll uh, get that on, and hopefully that'll make it go again. So I'll get on with that. Right, I, the other day I took the old one off anyway, just to make sure I got the right part number, but you can see it bolts onto these three spots there, and that's the plug. So I'll uh, get the new one bolted on, and fingers crossed. Right, so the new one's on. Time to uh, drop the car off the axle stands and see if it works. Right, so with the other one, well, sorry, with the old unit in and plugged in, it wouldn't start. So here goes nothing. Uh, Demobilise it, let's press the right button. Yeah. Oh, it starts. Let's try. Says reverse. Yes. It's beeping at me for some reason. Six doors open. Yes. So we got reverse. That's a start. Let's try drive. Yes. Right, so that was a resounding success. Sorry the camera fell over, but um, it's because I put my toe down. Um, yeah, it works. That's a relief, I can say, because if it, that hadn't fixed it, I wouldn't know where to go next. So, Right, we can get that advertised now. Take it for a bit of a test run, make sure it's all right, and get it listed. Result. So a little update on the first Cooper S. Um, as I showed on the other video with just the R53s in, um, got to do another wheel bearing on this one. Sorry, not on this one, another wheel bearing. One on done on the first one. Now I've got to do one on this one. So it's a matter of whipping the wheel off, whipping the caliper off, bunging it out of the way, um, take the disc off. Then undoing the um, hub nut that holds the drive shaft on, knock it back a bit, and then undo the four 13 mil bolts and the hub will come off. So I'll get on with that now. Well, unlike the first one, the one of them has started to round very slightly, so as opposed to just popping the drive shaft back and getting in there, I'm going to take the hub off of its lower ball joint and steering joint so I can get the drive shaft out and actually get a, a, nut um, a socket straight on it. 
Ah, joys. Well, today we have got the um, 54 plate Cupress in service mode. We had a water leak that you probably saw in the other video. Um, so I thought I'd have a little look, see if I can find it. Whip the front off. The rad is gone. So I've got a new rad on the way. So I've got all the front end off. Um, I'll show you how to get all the front end off of, of a mini when I do the uh, gearbox in the other one uh, speed is of the essence today so just got to um, pop the rad out wait for the new one to arrive and put it all back together uh, we're going to do a we've done a coolant flush we're going to do an oil change as well while it's all apart um, the water pump and the supercharger look like they've been done recently because the water pump looks new and the um, obviously they've had this pulley on the end of it so that's been done fairly recently um, I'm not worried about it yet but I think I will be pulling this engine and completely cleaning it up and going over the whole thing at a later date but for now we just want to get it running and moving about so we can never go there and use it for a little while it doesn't take long to get the front end off less than an hour so it's not the end of the world Right, so as you saw there, um, the Cooper S on the 54 plate is back on the road. Um, we've bled the coolant system, put the new rad on, um, and all good. Still getting the sloshing noise behind the gearbox, uh, gearbox behind the dashboard. Um, Googling says that that's to do with coolant, but it's definitely all bled out and it's definitely all flushed out, so I don't know. So I'm going to have to investigate a bit further, but uh, I've done quite a few miles in it now, a few hard miles as well doesn't overheat um, and heaters are all good so um, I think that's a resounding win at the moment um, I'll need to strip it all down again at some point in the future and completely overhaul that before we start tracking it but for the moment I just want to use it on the road for a while just to make sure I'm happy with it find any other issues that we have um, and just go from there really uh, also saw the 58 plate smart sold didn't meet his reserve on eBay, but a chap messaged me and said he didn't get a chance to bid. He missed the end. What was my reserve? What would I accept? Could he come and get it? So we agreed a deal. He turned up, took it away. So that's gone as well. So I'll leave this video here. Thanks for watching. Um, like, subscribe and share. Um, we're getting near to 100,000 views now. I don't know if that's good or not, but it's a milestone, whatever. Um, there is a couple of updates coming soon with regard to the 6BT Cummins Discovery. Um, and we're doing a galvanised chassis swap on a Discovery 2. Discovery, sorry, galvanised chassis swap on a P38 Range Rover. 
Um, so we've got a few bits coming up, plus the gearbox on the Mini 7 and whatever else we in, end up buying in the future. So thanks for watching um, and we'll see you very soon in another video.